Hey, it's Doug Perry, and I am a realtor with Property Consultants in Bucktown. And today on Logan Square and West Town Homes Live, I'm going to present my neighborhood reports for the Logan Square community area and the West Town community area. So let's get right to it. So the Logan Square community area consists of the following neighborhoods, Logan Square, uh, Palmer Square, and Bucktown. And so let's take a look at what's going on. The latest report, which, by the way, is compiled by the Chicago Association of Realtors, uh, is for the month of May. It takes, uh, you know, about uh, 15, uh, 15 days for the reports to come out, um, or they come out on the 15th. They're basically like 45 days behind. It's a lot of data they got to crunch. Uh, anyway, uh, let's look at detached single-family homes. What are those? Those are standalone houses, detached single-family. And let's look at the year-to-date data. So uh, number of new listings is uh, actually down just a hair uh, by uh, negative 1.1%, uh, uh, down from 274 to 271, pretty much flat. Uh, and pretty much the same thing with the number of closed sales up by just one. However, uh, the median sales price is up significantly from 725 this time last year up to 850. That represents a 17.2% increase. Um, percent of original list price received is at 97.4, up just a little bit. So sellers, um, since like forever, pretty much getting what they're asking for. And then uh, market time is up just a hair, uh, 81 days. So about two and a half months to close. And that's up by 2.5%. Now, let's look at attached single family. What are those? Those are condos and townhouses. So, we see that there are 508 new listings versus 271 houses. So, there's always, you know, uh, many, many more, nearly twice as many uh, condos and townhouses for sale. Uh, and 240 closed, so that's actually down a bit from last year, down by 9.4%. Uh, However, sellers will be glad to know that uh, the median sales price is up from 370 to 405,000, so that represents a 9.5% increase. Sellers are getting pretty much what they're asking for, 98.6% of list price, and the uh, market time is flat has not changed at all. If we look below at the graphs, we see that um, the gray line represents all activity in Chicagoland and the brown line represents Logan Square. So if we look at detached single family homes over here, um, we see that the overall uh, trend is, you know, kind of mimics the city. Uh, however, uh, at the pretty much the beginning of the real estate crisis, uh, it was at its lowest and it spiked in 2011, came back down in 2012, up to 2014, and then it is, you can see it's kind of trending down. Okay. Uh, if we looked at attached single family homes, uh, that didn't really seem to bottom out until about 2010, about a year behind the houses. Spiked up in 2011, down in 2012, up in 2014, and also trending downwards. Okay, so that's Logan Square. Let's take a look at West Town. Now, what neighborhoods uh, are in the West Town community area? Well, that would be Wicker Park, Ukrainian Village, East Village, Noble Square, and the east part of Humboldt Park. So let's take a look. Again, we'll start with detached single-family homes. Those are standalone homes. Let's look at the year-to-date data. That would be from January 1st through May. Okay, compared to last year, uh, new listings are down a bit from 273 to 249. That represents an 8.8% decrease. Number of sales is down a little bit. 83 sales. That represents a 6.7% decrease. And uh, median sales price is down. Uh, from 960 to 939, that's 2.2%. Uh, however, the sellers are getting pretty much uh, the same, you know, that they were asking for this time last year. However, market time is up. Uh, 
it's a, a, a huge increase, 40.4% uh, from 99 days to 139 days. So it's taking more than an additional month, a month and about a week to close on a house. Now, uh, let's take a look at attached single family. Again, that includes condos and townhouses. And we can see there's always vastly more activity in attached versus detached. So we've got 1,427 new attached listings versus 249 houses uh, and that is up significantly by 9.1 percent sales uh, a modest increase of 1.7 percent 665 sales median sales price is up from 446 to 470 that represents a 5.4 percent increase uh, percentage of original list price received Pretty much the same at 98.5 percent however it is taking uh, a little longer to sell the homes it was 50 days last year now it's 69 days if we look at the charts at the bottom to look at the uh, long-term trend again uh, crisis occurred in 2008 or began in 2008 and houses slid down to their lowest in 2010 uh, fought their way back up 2012 took a dip in 2013 and then peaked at 2014 and now we are trending downward so uh, if you own a home now is the time to sell uh, waiting will probably not yield any higher prices in the near future uh, looking at attached single family uh, they kind of bottomed down 2009 a little spurt in 2010 back down to 2011 up to around 2013 2014 and they're kind of flattening out so they seem a little more uh, stable than the houses so I hope you found value in that if you'd like to keep your finger on the pulse of real estate in any neighborhood in Chicago land not just Logan Square in West Town but any neighborhood in Chicago and the surrounding suburbs you need market snapshot what is it well it is what its name implies it's a snapshot of real estate activity and uh, it's free that's the best part price is right it's absolutely free the link that you see on the screen is also in the show notes that's a live link go ahead and click that and you can get it right now there is no obligation and you can unsubscribe at any time um, what it, what is it exactly well you get an email there's a link in it you click it and you see a map and on that map you've got houses and they're color coded according to their status active um, under contract sold canceled you name it you can drill down into the houses you can see uh, room sizes flooring etc you can get info on schools if you've got school age children this is invaluable you can see how far it is from the school you can see the student teacher ratio uh, if a score is provided you can see that too and it's not just about the four walls you live within it's also about the shops the restaurants the parks etc you can get detailed information on that including menus and pictures and reviews it's a fantastic tool no reason not to sign up go ahead and do it now if you have any questions about real estate call me Doug Perry at 312-572-9801 or you can email me at dperry at propertyconsultants.com both my phone and my email address are in the show notes I would love to talk to you soon I'd like to meet you even better have an awesome day